What's the plan tomorrow? The plan is to find the sheep. <laughs> we failed at that today. It's opening day tomorrow, Saturday, and we get nine days to get it done. That's the man with the tag. I think he's getting nervous. We only really glass for like probably two hours today, but in places that we thought for sure we'd see him. But wish us luck. Well, we spotted a handful of well, handful of sheep. One decent ram. Still unsure if we want to shoot him or not. Um, but he it doesn't. He's got good mass. I don't know about his length. Um, so we're gonna check. Probably. We'll probably go after that ram. You know what? It's hard. It's because it's, it's. This what? ram right here is not in our unit. What? It's just. What is nice is because he's next to other rams, so you can compare them. You would be able to tell that ram. On his own. Yes. It's nice that he's next to other rams, so you can see like mass and size and, and length and everything. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably go after him. Hopefully find the big daddy out there somewhere. He's putting his nose up in the air. He drops... Look at him now. He drops low. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know sheep that well. But what I know is, I know it way better than you. No. I just don't know... I just think it's good. to the rams uh, we're gonna take it with our bow if we can and then judge better um, as we get closer to see if we want to shoot it with a rifle so as we were making our way up to the sheep next thing we knew they were right underneath us Wait for the next two. Stop, he's definitely hit. He's got an arrow sticking out. Okay, stop, stop, stop. No, we don't know if we got him yet. We haven't got him yet. Okay, you're going to watch. You're going 
I didn't think you hit him. Your family tradition is big ram killing with a bow? <laughs> Hells yeah, dude. He taught you your base, basic skills of hunting, how to get after it. I had the chills, dude. With your bow and not at you. <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure if we were gonna get an open shot. I can't believe they were right there, they dude. Bunching, bunching. Oh, that was frustrating. They were spooked. I think they were doing that because they were kind of. They didn't know what's going on. Yeah. I, I don't even know why they came over here. Honestly. Uh, and they, not because they were feeding, because they were doing something. I think the wind was swirling. They got her scent. And they didn't know where to be. I think it was that milk cow and heat. Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Why, why did they leave the ewes and, and just get out of town? That's weird. Yeah, and now, now those two... Maybe they bred all those ewes. Like, yeah, screw well, you guys. those two went right back to them. Yeah. <laughs> There's Jared. Yeah. And then I thought I was going to have to take a, a rifle shot or something because I didn't know if I hit him or not or like slightly hit him. Oh he's up. You got it? It looks like he either broke it off on this rock. Was it around the rock? Yeah yeah it was right up against the base. And we're looking at we're yeah. looking about eight uh, eight inches, seven inches. No, Let me zoom in. No, 14 inches of penetration. It's 10 after 1, and we are finally back at the rigs. Everyone is pooped, legitimately pooped. Hey. I'm really tired. What? I'm really tired and hungry and thirsty. <laughs> All at the same time.